There's a reason Formula One cars are often compared to jet aircraft. You only have to look at the way they perform. 60 miles an hour. In less time than it took you to read those words, a Formula One car would have hit that speed. Two seconds later, it will reach triple figures and soon a jumbo jet take off speed. At 120 miles an hour, the downforce will have doubled the weight of the car. In fact, it could have gone from zero to 100 and back again in under five seconds. To do that, Formula One cars use carbon ceramic brakes that produce up to five and a half G of stopping power. That's enough to heat the brakes to a volcanic 1,000 degrees centigrade. The aerodynamic downforce and incredibly sticky tyres means that the cornering forces are immense, up to 6 G, twice that experienced by the Space Shuttle crew during takeoff. Of course, getting them to such speeds involves some incredible engineering. Of the 9,000 parts in a Formula One car, half are in the 2.4 litre V8 engines that can rev to 18,000 RPM, at which point the pistons are accelerating at 9,000 G. The engine sucks in air at a rate of 650 litres a second. That's four tonnes every race. One and a half kilometres of wiring, 120 sensors and 500,000 lines of computer code. Five times as much information as in the Encyclopedia Britannica. Help the drivers control these incredible machines. But despite all those parts, a Formula One car weighs just 420 kilos less than the Olympic weightlifting record and need to have weight added to them to meet the regulations. Formula One, it's more than just a numbers game.